is happening guys it's your boy tc back with another video so that was a comprehensive win it was a very very um easy game i should say nothing more than i actually expected uh, of course oster students story is absolutely remarkable uh, what they've actually managed to achieve in the last 20 years or so so the club was certainly formed uh, five weeks after arsene wenger took charge at arsenal so you can get in terms of um, how old the club is it's relatively still quite a young club but they've actually managed to achieve quite a lot in the last seven years uh, being promoted down from the fourth division of the Swedish football uh, all the way up to the top league and uh, now playing in Europe against the likes of Arsenal so um, it's a remarkable story but yeah let's talk about the game today as I said really really comprehensive win um, fantastic result uh, but there was one or two players that we will certainly be discussing in detail so let's just talk through the uh, the team selection so Spina was selected as captain today which was actually quite surprising I would have thought someone like Monreal or Mustafi would have had the armband but uh, yeah Spina was in goal and he was captain uh, on the right hand side we saw Bellerin come in uh, we had uh, a fairly decent game in my opinion uh, in the middle of the uh, of the defense it was Callum Chambers as well as uh, Mustafi those two did look okay during the whole game of course Monreal was playing as left back but he did end up coming off for Kolasinac uh, in the middle uh, Arsene Wenger went with a two and uh, that was in the form of Maitland Niles and El Nenny and uh, up top with uh, the three across the middle so so that was uh, Wolby, Ozil, as well as Mkhitaryan, who was playing on the right-hand side. And up top, we had Danny Welbeck by himself. So let's talk about the goals. Uh, the first goal was scored by Nacho Monreal, who's an absolute fire at the moment. Uh, he's got three goals and two assists in six games. So that's really, really a decent uh, run of form, in my opinion. Uh, he's scoring quite a number of goals as it seems already but um yeah got the first goal and um the keeper kind of sort of spilt the ball really it was a hot shot and uh, the keeper couldn't keep it in his hands and uh, it ended up trickling in off Nacho Monreal and it was a fantastic goal really a lot of pressure had been applied at that particular point and you could sense that a goal was coming so it was a shot off Iwobi I'd like to think and it was a sort of a rebound the keeper should have done better really I felt really sorry for the keeper throughout the whole game. Uh, I think the occasion kind of got to him. And uh, the second goal was an own goal, but it was a shot off at Mkhitaryan, as you can see from the image. Uh, again, play down the right, lovely, lovely bit of football. And then, of course, Mkhitaryan found himself into the box and he took a shot and it sort of, um, again, came off a defender. I can't really pronounce what the defender's name. is a really, really long name, but uh, it came off him. And uh, we found ourselves 2-0 up. And uh, after that... Uh, uh, Mezu Ozu got himself a goal. Again, the keeper should have done better. He ended up just sort of treacling in underneath the keeper. But all round, um, there were decent goals, to be fair. A lot of pressure is mentioned. That was certainly applied from the get-go. And Ostersunds really couldn't handle us in terms of the, uh, the attacking talent that we possessed. The little one-two passing, uh, they couldn't really deal with it. I do believe they showed Arsenal a bit too much respect hopefully when they do come for the second leg of course I don't want us to lose or come out of the competition but I do think that we are certainly into the last 16 but hopefully when they do come to the Emirates they'll give us a certainly a better game on that occasion so let's talk about Danny Welbeck so Danny Welbeck um, is the striker that we are currently eligible to play uh, within this competition uh, we've got no one else um, we did see Edin Katia come on uh, later on into the game but it didn't really have enough time to call uh, to make an impact really I should say but Danny Welbeck didn't seem confident he didn't seem as if he was sort of ready I'm guessing he's lacking a little bit of confidence as it is uh, but he didn't look sharp at all he didn't look like the Danny Welbeck we know he currently has about five goals I think throughout the whole season but he's been plagued by injuries and um, it certainly has been affecting him he did have one or two chances where we'd think well he's going to curl it into the top corner but uh, based on the standard of the team that we were certainly playing uh, you'd have thought that he would have actually got himself a goal but hopefully he can get a few more minutes uh, on the pitch uh, in this competition so we will be playing uh, Ustersons next um, well we've got the second leg I should say and uh, hopefully he can get some minutes in that particular game as well and get his confidence up, back up really because we will need him firing um, we don't know who we're going to get in the next uh, in the next round of 16 so we will need him up and running up 
up until Lacazette is fully fit and back into the team. So as usual guys, please do let me know what you think in the comments below. If you are watching this video and you're not subscribed to the channel, please do make sure that you do hit that subscribe button. So once again guys, it's your boy TC from I'm Gonna Talk TV and I'm out. <laughs>